Hi, and welcome to another Pick a Card Tarot reading. Welcome, everybody. I'm in such a good mood today, so I hope you are as well. Oh, it's such a pleasure. I just want to say I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you to everybody who views this video, whether you are a part of this beautiful community or you're just stopping in to view this real quick Pick a Card Tarot reading. Welcome. It's so lovely to have you. Oh, gosh. Well, I can't appreciate you guys enough. Anyway, today we are asking Spirit about your person's energy. This is going to be a question, or the, the topic we're focusing on is um, how your person is feeling. But overall, I'm going to be doing an energy check-in with the connection and specifically the connection from their perspective, how they're perceiving the connection, how they're feeling about the connection, how they're feeling about you and hopefully what their intentions are. Whew. So group one, we have the blue topaz vial today. Gorgeous. I love these so much. I decided to use them in another video. Group two, we have the aventurine. Lovely. Love it. And group three is the citrine. Gosh, I can't believe this energy. I don't know where it came from, but I'm here for it. I'm not going to question it, just going to embrace it. So do your wonderful, weird, wild methods. Pick a group, and when you know which group you're feeling most called to, check the description box below and join me in your reading. Hi, group one, and welcome. If you, ooh, I'll just move that over a little bit. If you chose this blue topaz vial, then this is your reading. Welcome, 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 welcome feeling really good energy today. Um, so today we are asking Spirit for messages from your person. I want to do a bit of a check-in, um, a little bit of an understanding of how your person is feeling and their intentions towards you as well. So I'm going to start with my personal deck. We're going to get messages from your person and then I'll delve into some of the other questions as well. So Spirit, can we please get messages from group one's person, please? Messages from group one's person. What would they say to group one right now? What would they say to group one right now? I'll get all of these out and then I'll show you what I'm seeing. What would they say to group one right now? There's a lot of concern here, group one. Group one's person. Okay, so bottom deck energy is the ace of pentacles reversed. So group one, if you chose this re if you chose this group, your person is feeling very much disconnected from you. The ace of pentacles reversed tells me that um, they almost feel like you're being selfish, if that makes sense. And I say that in with every best intention. I don't mean to offend you, but it's just like this person has almost is really struggling to see a hope in this connection. They feel very much at a distance to you. It's more of an emotional distance, though. It's like you've withdrawn. You've taken the power back over the connection. For some of you, it feels like you may have surrendered. You may have completely just released the outcome of this connection, and you've decided that you just want a fresh blank slate. For others of you, you're very much aware that you cut this person off, but they feel that you're at a distance to them. They feel as though you're you're being a little bit selfish right now. Um, again, this is their opinion, not mine. Um, so the first card that came out was, this love scares me. So this is a number 11 love, because for me, it represents very complicated situations. It can represent karmic connections or twin flame connections. I don't like to drop those words lightly, though, especially in a general reading. More than anything, the message from your person is that they are riddled with fear at the moment. They're letting their actions be directed by fear. They're not coming from a place of love. Their love is tainted with fear. And that is something for you to be aware of as well, because anything they say right now or do right now isn't coming from a place of love. It's coming from a place of fear, fear of failure, fear of rejection, fear of making the wrong decision. But I do heavily feel there's a fear of rejection and a fear or, and or a fear of abandonment here with that card. Now, this is where it gets confusing, group one. The next card that came out was, I hope you'll wait for me. This is a three card. In my opinion, it's the three of wands. So it indicates somebody passively 
waiting. They're not intending on actioning or moving towards you. In fact, from their point of view, you're the one who's expected to reach out. So this is somebody who really feels at a distance to you. This card can literally mean someone who's in another country at times. Um, it is someone who is passively waiting. They have no intention at this stage of stepping forward. And the other card that came out was another three. This is the three of swords. I think we should see other people. So this person is very hurt right now. They feel as though you are dating others or they feel that you have your eye on others. They can't confirm it. It's like a suspicion. In their heart, they feel your energy pulling away from them. So the words on this card are not necessarily direct. It could mean for some of you that your person chose another person over you and it caused you heartbreak. And now they don't know how to move towards you and they feel like they really messed up. Both of these cards indicate um, a passiveness though. There's no formal action here. This is someone who is very much um, experiencing fear and, and emotional pain, emotional withdrawal, and they just don't know how to move forward right now. So you may have been picking up on this. Perhaps that's what led you to this reading. You're kind of like, something has changed and I, I want to know what's going on with them. The next card that came out was, I want to get drunk. I want to get you drunk. So this is one of my um, devil cards in this deck. It's It kind of helps me break down that the many facets of the devil. And one of the facets is substance use. And it's, oh gosh, holy heck, <laughs> very, <laughs> wow. So <laughs> as soon as I said that, I, I completely choked on my own spit. So wow, please look after yourself. Please be very much aware of what you are doing to your body. Um, it's fine to have fun and it's fine to do things in moderation, but make sure you do it with minimal harm put in effective strategies to make sure that you wake up the next day and continue living your wonderful life. Um, I just felt the need to share that message quickly. But this message coming from your person can indicate that instead of addressing the fear, instead of addressing whatever anxiety they may have, they're choosing to misdirect that energy. They're choosing to self-medicate that energy. Um, they're choosing substances or pleasures of the flesh in order to remedy the pain that they're feeling. It's a temporary fix. It's something that's working for now, but it, it's never a permanent solution. And over time, it can lead to more pain and more karma. Um, it is inevitably going to end. But at this point in time, your person is seeing this as an easy form of of release or an easy form of connection. It's not a genuine connection though. Um, I really feel like they could be going through a dark patch. It's not permanent. There is a lot of hope here actually. It's their mentality of how they see the situation. So the next two cards we have are two fours. So you guys had two threes and two fours. We have what do you want? And will you choose me? Now, ironically enough, both of these cards can be interpreted by myself as the Four of Cups. It indicates the feeling of a missed opportunity. Again, someone who's passively waiting or passively avoiding their options. This is someone who is in quite a victim mentality. Your person is perceiving this connection as out of their hands, as if you hold all the power, which again ties in with our bottom deck energy. Your person considers that um, they have no real choice here. They have no options. You're the one who needs to make the decision. You're the one who needs to choose. And they do fear that if they were to extend themselves to you, you would not choose them or you would choose to reject them. Um, there's this feeling of complete emotional disconnection here, though, with that what do you want? They don't know what you want. They don't know what you would choose. And the bottom deck energy is I can't even look at you right now. So this is the five of swords. This indicates someone who chose to walk away rather than offer resolution. It could indicate a verbal conflict. Um, it just, to me, feels like unresolved issues and uncertain outlook. You could, you are definitely either at a distance from this person or feeling emotionally distance, distant from this person. So they are struggling with this right now. There's, this card always speaks to me in two ways. On one hand, 
Um, they can't even look at you right now. They're in this victim mentality. You hurt me so much, I can't even look at you. And on the other side, it's I really miss you, but I can't even look at you. Like I've placed this distance between us now and I can't even look at you. Um, so it's, oof, it's a lot, but let's get into the tarot and we'll figure out what's actually going on. Did I pull out a tarot deck? No, I didn't. Oh, all right. Oh, gosh, we're going to have to use these then. Something I prepared earlier. <laughs> so group one's person, spirit, what's going on with them? What, how are they feeling? That was their messages, but how are they feeling? First card for you is woman holding a coin regardless of gender. You're holding the Ace of Pentacles here and you're keeping it to yourself. Not in a selfish way, can I add? That is your person's perception, but they're seeing you in a, a very powerful stance. And some of your people are very intimidated by that. They feel like you're above them now. You you don't want them. You've bossed up. You've leveled up. Why would you choose them now? So how is Group One's person feeling about them, please? We have broken heart. This is a nine in this deck, so they have probably withdrawn. They're, they're definitely either on silent mode, um, if you are in communication, or they're, they're not as active on social media, if you're kind of just following them in the background. Um, this is somebody who needs to withdraw and understand their feelings. I feel like this is someone who was quite surprised by the way you made them feel. They weren't expecting to feel this way when they last saw you, but something about the way that they saw you triggered an emotional response from this person that they weren't expecting. And now they're at a loss. They're kind of like, I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh because this pain is very real for a lot of you, that your person is experiencing a very real emotional pain here. Um, but I just, it was, is ironic because I feel like you too have experienced pain from this person's actions or this person's words. And now it's like that the calm has come full circle They're They're having to have a taste of their own experience and it's not fun for anyone because obviously you're here trying to check up on them, but, um, they're feeling very much at a loss right now. They kind of want connection but they don't want close connection. You see the way there's a lot of people involved in this. Their um, challenge that they're overcoming at the moment is the way that they deal with their issues. Um, they choose to mask their pain. They choose pleasures of the flesh. They choose to hide how they're feeling in groups of people. Um, instead of choosing one-on-one -on -one situations with a close family member or friend where they can address their their concerns, they choose to go to a, a party instead, or they choose to go out instead, or they choose to completely get lost in their emotions instead, rather than deciphering the root of their pain. Um, this card kind of indicates to me again that there could be a third party situation for some of you. Only take that if it is applicable. You should know about that if, it, if that is the case. Um, but really, the seven here is telling me that their challenge that they're trying to overcome is this feeling of community and this feeling of feel, being in a group of people and yet feeling so disconnected. Their emotions are very much um, not their own right now. They, they're unable to decipher how they truly feel. They're unable to get or they're refusing to get to the root of that pain and to address why they feel so triggered by the success that you're experiencing or their perceived success. They look at you and they think that you're doing so well and they're like, well, how, why is that making me feel so sad? For some, oh, excuse me. For some of you, this person has seen you in a very beautiful, like you were just done up. You were so well presented and they were a bit, envious that they couldn't be a part of that. They weren't a part of that journey there and they weren't able to appreciate that success with you. Um, how else is group one's person feeling, please? Oh, do you want me to read this reversed? Yeah. We have the gorgeous Archangel Michael, first chakra. This is the root chakra, aka your base chakra. Your person feels completely uprooted. Um, for those of you who know even if you don't know, it might be useful for you to know, your person feels like they're going through a dark night of the soul. Um, it, it's it's like their ego, everything that they believed to be real is being challenged right now. And I do feel like they're going to get through this. It's inevitable. We're only given what we can manage. 
but it's it's a real challenge for this person because they firmly had two feet planted on the ground and then something happened and now they feel completely uprooted. They feel completely unsure of how to move forward from here. It's like everything they believed was a lie. And it also almost feels like a massive tower moment, a sudden unexpected change. Something came and just hit them on the head and was like, nah, you have built this complete, this idea of success on an illusion. It's not real. This is what's real. This woman is holding a coin and they've managed to accumulate this success without you. And that was like a, oh my God moment. If you, the two of you, this is a scenario that's coming to my mind. Perhaps the two of you experienced a separation a while back and your person assumed that you were out here pining over them. Um, perhaps you were, <laughs> but they didn't see that. The next time they saw you, you had completely leveled up. You appeared better. You looked better. You looked really good and you smelt good and you sounded good and everything that you touched turned to gold without them. And there was pain in that because they had secretly been struggling. No matter how well put together they appeared, they had been secretly struggling. And that hurt because they were hoping, while they didn't wish you the worst, they were hoping that you could relate to that pain. And when they saw this, without really talking to you about it, it caused them pain and they had to withdraw to figure it out. But instead of choosing to figure it out, they chose to try to mask their pain in other people, in other situations, in things that didn't create close connections and genuine outlets for their pain which only created more issues until it was inevitable. Their tower came crumbling down. Everything they built was a lie. And it's not to say that the person that they are isn't deserving of success. It's just that they were channeling their energy into illusions, things that didn't offer true gratification, real achievements, real accomplishments. And they're currently undergoing a healing journey towards their personal happiness. So it's... <laughs> It's almost being forced upon them. This has been a series of unfortunate events and it's been like three steps forward, five steps back for this person. Every time they feel like they're getting ahead, another thing happens and they feel even more disempowered and it takes them just a little bit longer to come back because they haven't realized that they're in a karmic cycle and they haven't realized that there is a very easy way out. They haven't addressed the pain they're choosing to mask the pain. They're fixing the temporary situations, but they're not addressing the root of all of this. And it's beyond you as well. Please don't take responsibility for this person's healing journey. It's beyond you. This person at the core of them doesn't think that they deserve honest love. They don't believe that they deserve to be in a relationship with someone who is independent and able to take care of themselves. This person feels almost like a protector, like a guardian that they want to be able to keep you in a glass case and feed you and water you and take care of you because you're so precious, but you don't need that. And they don't see that as a beautiful commitment. They see that as, well, you don't need me. So why would you want me? And this person has to realize that there is more to them than this protector energy. They bring a lot more to the world than how they look after people. They don't need to look after anyone but themselves. And that is something that they need to learn within themselves. And until they learn that, this cycle of pain is going to continue. It's within reach. It is. It is a matter of their perception. They need to change the way they perceive their future and their present. They are very much stuck in this victim mentality. The V on this card is for victim, not victory. <laughs> I'm sorry, I feel like I'm really going in on this person, but spirit just really needs you to know this. Your person is struggling and it's something that they need to overcome. Um, the way that they perceive their actions isn't I don't even want to go down that road. <laughs> it's not it's not about that. It's just that they are they have every potential to be successful here. They just need to see that within themselves. At the bottom here we have 2 and 8, very balanced energies which together become a 10. 
they can complete this cycle of pain. They can overcome this. They can. They deserve happiness. They deserve victory. But they need to want it. They need to step towards it. And your bottom deck energy is door to spirit. This person needs to have faith that they're going to overcome this. And you too need to continue to foster that faith, that hope that you deserve something better. Not necessarily focusing all of that energy onto this person, but just continuing this beautiful path that you're on and realizing that you deserve more. You deserve happiness. You deserve unconditional love and you deserve to experience that in a reciprocated way, in a stable way. And your person will get there. I do feel that. So Spirit, can we clarify the woman holding the coin, please? Why is the woman holding the coin in this reading? Is there anything I've missed with that card? Anything you want to add? We have charity, kindness, sharing and gratification, the six of pentacles. So your person sees you in such a high light, okay? Regardless of what happened before with those other cards, their message cards, your person sees you as such a kind, generous person. They, they understand that you have glowed up, you've leveled up with this woman holding a coin. You hold the power in this connection in their eyes. You are independent. You're someone who is creating success. Um, you are perceived as being very financially stable as well, or at least leveling up your finances. This is their perception. Um, I know if you, some of you may be saying, well, that's not true, but that's how they perceive you. And this card is just saying that they kind of want to be more balanced with that. They, they, There is jealousy there. They feel in the shadow attributes that you are being selfish, but they only see you giving. They only see you um, balancing out your debt and becoming a more um, kind and refined person. This person who is giving and yet still receiving so much. And for some of you, your person is baffled by this. They don't understand how you're continually getting so much when you seem to give so much. They don't understand that in order to be successful in order to feel emotionally content you need to invest in things that aren't necessarily about finances like I feel like you do a lot of soul work a lot of heart work as well you really work with your values and your person is trying to work towards that as well they want a successful outcome in this connection with this nine of cups though it's more that, um, and this is clarifying the broken heart here. So this is another nine, very different heart energy though. <laughs> on this hand, this is someone who's withdrawing because of the pain they're feeling in their heart. And on this card, this is somebody who is very much guarding their nine of cups. They're, they're proud, they're, they're wanting. Um, so I feel like this is how they present. Perhaps you aren't aware, you may be feeling that your person's in pain, but on the surface, they look smug. They look like they're doing well. They look like they have a lot to be grateful for and they have a lot to be proud of. And perhaps they do, but that is just the surface. They're not truly emotionally fulfilled right now and they're working towards it. In their heart, they want it, but they just need to try to keep their heart space open and to work with that pain rather than against it. So your person wants a successful outcome here, but you know what word I'm really seeing on this card? Distractions. Your person needs to stay focused on that, on that healing, that pain. And again, I hate that idea of, you know, oh, I'm broken. I'm a victim. Somebody hurt me and now I'm broken. I don't believe in that. And I know that some pain can't be fully healed. Some pain is going to be with us for the rest of our lives. But we need to know how to manage that without impacting other people's lives. And more than that, impacting ourselves. So why is the community card here, Spirit? Number one, why is the community card here? Ooh, we got nine again. Success with pain. Yeah, so it feels like three steps forward, five steps back, and your person is really just persisting. Your person, this is actually the nine reversed. So they are at a point where they're looking around and they're like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Have I been doing this wrong? <laughs> Have I, was I meant to carry these nine ones? Damn, I didn't realize I was building a wall of 
barriers, boundaries, anger, fear, and frustration. Your person has realized that they've barricaded themselves in now, and they've created these high boundaries, these unrealistic expectations, and this constant cycle, this circle of pain. And they're starting to realize that, well, I've got to get rid of some of these wands now. These aren't serving me. So regardless of the fact that, remember, this card was talking about them distracting themselves with other people or other situations or circumstances, they are coming to the realization that they can't continue doing that. They can't. And they're taking this time to really pause and figure out how to change that, um, how to re-strategize. So why is first chakra Archangel Michael in this reading? Spirit, what have I missed about that card, please? What have I missed about that card? Ooh. Ah, the Seven of Swords. Yeah. So not only does your person feel completely uprooted, they feel disconnected from their true self. So Archangel Michael, to me, can represent not only your foundations, but your core being, your values, the things that make you you, your integrity, what you stand for in this world, why you were brought to this world, the things that you fight for and the things that sort of we hope to die with, if that makes sense. That's a really morbid way of looking at it. But um, your person feels very much disconnected from their true self. They feel inauthentic. They don't really know who they are anymore and they're trying to figure it out. They want to communicate with you, but they don't know how to do it because they're not authentically themselves right now. They're trying to remove these masks. They're trying to step forward, but everything they do feels like a lie now. Now that these illusions are being teared down, now that this tower moment has destroyed their foundations of lies, um, again, I'm sorry for laughing, but it's just like, it's been a long time coming for this person. They don't know how to, who they are, and they're trying to figure that out again. So why is the door to personal healing and happiness here, Spirit? Anything else you want to add to that beautiful card? There is hope in this connection. I just want to say, if some of you are hoping to amend, I'm, my eyes are just drawn to that beautiful dove in the middle and that beautiful rainbow. What a gorgeous place to be. Stepping through that pain and embracing a new beginning, embracing a new opportunity, knowing that true love can't hurt us. It's, it's the journey there that can be painful, but the destination is so gratifying is so healing and is so filled with happiness and look that is emphasized by the card the king of cups at the core of them they are such a they have such a big heart with such beautiful intentions and dreams of romance and dreams of balanced giving and taking they look at you and they just feel inspired to want this again but this card is at the moment tainted with fear and it's the fear of being hurt. They keep their heart guarded. They're not quick to tell people how they feel. They're not quick to open up. They do feel as if they, if they do that, if they let someone into their special place, they're going to get hurt. They're going to be taken advantage of. And for some of you, it's nothing, or literally for most of you, it's not something that you personally did. It's just a part of this person's healing that they need to address. They have so much love to give and they deserve so much love as well. Um, but they aren't in, in touch with that because they, it comes, they're tainted by the fear of being hurt again. The fear of somebody taking advantage of that love, that open, unconditional love. So Spirit, why is the victory card here? Why is the victory card here, please? Oh, okay. Ah, we have the Four of Swords reversed. Now, I wasn't sure whether to read this the other way or this way, so I'm going to interpret it as both. The Victory card reversed is saying that your person's period of silence or inaction is slowly coming to an end. And I mean slowly because it's going to be very different for each and every one of you. No two healing journeys are the same. But your person cannot stay in this hermit energy for much longer, in this energy of victim mentality. Again, I'm sorry for laughing because the pain is real. It's almost making me uncomfortable. That's why I keep chuckling. But it's just that 
I can feel what your person needs to do. They need to really start making actions towards their happiness and they need to start trying to focus less on those unhealthy connections to substances or to people who aren't fulfilling their emotional needs. They really need to start putting their emotions, their needs first. And for some of them, that first step involves telling you the truth. It involves them stepping out of this cave, this crypt of inaction and addressing issues that happened in the past. For others of you, it's going to be a while before they choose to communicate because their healing journey is a very individual journey and they need more time to start making themselves feel more confident. I do feel that their period of inaction is going to end, but it, it, it may involve them doing things for themselves for a little while. They were very inspired by you when they last saw you, whether that was in person or at a distance or on social media, the last time they saw you, you inspired them to want more. It created pain, but it also triggered this need to want more in their life. Bottom deck energy here is the hanged man in reverse. They're gaining a fresh perspective and this period of inaction is ending. They're moving towards their, their true, what's the word? Like a, ah, oh, their true self, their true purpose. <laughs> so I'm, I didn't prepare this deck earlier and I'm a little bit annoyed that I didn't. So I'm just going to shuffle it for a little while. I want to get advice for you, group one. What is the advice for group one, spirit? What is the advice for group one? How are they supposed to, what are they supposed to do here? What is the advice for them? We have a new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. Now, I just want to say that this instantly what I felt with this card was patience and it's not to wait passively group one it's just that this person has a lot of karma that they need to settle all right they have created a lot of pain and a lot of karmic connections in the in the last couple of well since the two of you have separated they've got some debts to settle and they need to balance their life out so in the meantime you need to continue doing what you're doing and to work towards um an open outcome if that makes sense don't passive don't actively wait for this person continue doing what you're doing and focus on the idea um, that you do deserve love you deserve someone who can love you the way you deserve to be loved <laughs> how many times can i say the same thing <laughs> but um i feel like there will be a reconciliation or a reconnection um, I just feel like for a lot of you, it's going to take time because it involves this person healing and they need time to heal. They need time to get out of this victim mentality and to embrace their power. So we have the answers you need are coming, full moon and Gemini. Some of you can expect communication from your person. Others of you are going to feel as if your person is doing things. With the Gemini card, I just feel like what they're showing you isn't how they truly feel and vice versa. How they truly feel isn't what they are showing you. And this person is going to be butting heads with themselves, trying to break out of that. So the advice for you is to just trust that things are unfolding in the background. Um, things are happening, whether you see them or not, the answers you need are coming, okay? And again, it's not to wait. While your person is over here doing their thing, you continue looking towards the future, looking towards your future and doing your thing. Um, we have expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. So this is an incredibly powerful card. It doesn't come out all the time, but when it does, it means that a lot is happening. It may feel quite stagnant for you, group one, but so much is happening in the background and your person is really going through a massive transformation right now. So you can expect powerful change in your own life. Um, if the two of you have energetic bonds to each other, I feel like your leveling up created this, per gave this person the platform to do the same. Um, they were just so resistant to change for so long. So the idea is that when this change comes, you have to roll with it. It's hard to accept change at first, and some people deal with change a lot better than others. But eventually, it is, it is always better to surrender to that change and to let that process unfold. Um, the bottom deck energy is luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. So it could be that this person returns at a very unexpected time. They come back when you're least expecting it. 
they choose to communicate when you least expect it. Um, I just feel like there's so much happening in the background with your person and with this connection and spirit has definitely intervened here. Archangel Michael has intervened and is trying to guide this person back to their true self and who they truly are. So group one, that is what I'm seeing for you. That is how your person is currently feeling. Um, that is sort of like an energy check-in with what your person is going through right now. I hope that was helpful. I hope you can use that information to progress in your journey. Stay safe, look after yourself, and I'll connect with you in another reading. Thanks, group one. Bye. Hi, group two, and welcome. If you chose the Aventurine glass jar, then this is your reading. So welcome group two. I hope you're feeling well. I'm feeling exceptionally well today. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm not going to challenge it, not going to question it, just going to roll with it. Beautiful energy. So today we are asking spirit about your person. We're wanting to get an energy check-in, so to speak, um, on how they are feeling and what they're kind of going through at the moment. So this may be useful for a lot of you who are either at a distance from your person or you're really struggling, something may have changed and you're just wondering what they're going through, what's going on. So first off, group two, I want to just do a little bit of a messages from your person. So we're hoping to figure out how is what would your person say to you if they could say anything right now. So spirit group two, what would group two's person say to them messages from their person please group two messages from their person group two messages from their person mm. i'll take the first card but i'm going to shuffle the rest in so first card for you is love is the answer messages from their person group two please spirit messages from their person what would they say to group two if they could say anything we have wrongful advice. Messages from their person, please. Group two. Oh, hello. Did you what? That, I don't know how, but that card flipped itself, so I'm going to take it. This is the two of pentacles. I need more balance. So your person is juggling something right now, and they're wanting simplicity, but they're really not aware of how to incorporate that in their life messages from their person group two please so many loud trucks in this part of my town um, we have you matter group two you matter okay if somebody hasn't said that to you in a while i'm saying it to you now you matter we have i need more time i this card is the bane of my existence i really regret creating it but whew, listen we can't hate the messages. We've just got to accept them and learn to work with them. So I need more time. I need time for me is actually the Four of Swords card. Sorry. Um, oh, I just saw Have I Lost Everything? Nine of Swords Reverse. Your person has had an epiphany about you and about this connection. It might be all these retrogrades, but they're really feeling like they've recently discovered something. We have sex with you. This is actually the six of wands. So there is a feeling of wanting a passionate success. They're wanting a passionate reunion, wanting to advance sexually, wanting this connection to advance. We have there is someone else, number three. Interesting. Bottom deck energy for you is I think we should slow down reversed. So group two, wild. I'm going to go to this card first because I know that that would have triggered a lot of you. The reason I made these cards was to address third party situations, but also third party fears and concerns. So if you are unaware of a third party, this is, um, I just want to say that if there is a third party, you should know already. If you're unaware of the third party, this card is indicating that your person is afraid or concerned that there is someone else. This is this person's fear that you are currently um, seeing or dating other people and you are investing your energy elsewhere. This has like a torn feeling for me. It's kind of between the three of wands and the three of cups. So your person is, is kind of giving this sort of playful energy, but there is so much, what's the word, like full longing? There's so much yearning and longing and a feeling of 
not knowing how to move or not knowing which direction to move towards. There's a real feeling of confusion here. Um, and it's not to say that they're confused about what to do because, again, love is the answer. Their heart is very strongly telling them what to do. It's just that their head is is not agreeing and their head is telling them something else, um, which is why the next card we have is the wrongful advice because I really feel like your person is is choosing to lead with their head and they know that it's not the best decision but to them it feels like the safe decision and it feels like what they're doing although they can't do it forever or although it's not necessarily the right thing for them for their for their happiness um it's either the easy thing to do or it's the safe thing to do for now. Now the bottom deck energy for you was I think we should slow down. Your person is wanting they're wanting to change something. They're wanting to drop something. They're wanting to make a decision or they need to make a decision about something. They're feeling impatient. They're feeling impulsive as well. And they feel as though um, there's an uneasiness here in this connection. They're feeling uneasy towards you. They don't really know how to move forward, but they want to do something. They're not happy right now and they need to do something. They need to know more. Um, they really want to drop one of these bloody pentacles. <laughs> they really want more balance. They're feeling like they're overwhelmed. I mean, I think that what they've been doing, they've been doing for a little while now. They know how to juggle these things. Um, for some of you, it's that they've been juggling two people. Or, but for most of you, this person just has a very complicated routine. They've got a complicated lifestyle. And their work combined with their lifestyle has been taking a lot of energy and a lot of balancing and they've been doing it for a while but they're actually coming to the point where they need to drop something they feel like it's not working they feel like they're not getting anywhere they've just been wasting their energy juggling these things and they haven't actually been excuse me progressing in the way that they want to so at the core of this they want you to know that you matter okay you matter and you are a very significant person in their life who has impacted them and has impacted their journey. Whether they've told you this or not, there is something about you and about this connection that has taught them a lot about themselves. And there is this feeling of not wanting to lose you. Um, I did want to show you this card too. Beneath your bottom deck energy, oh my God, we have, do you even care? in the reverse. So your person wants to know how you feel. Your person really wants to end this unknown between you. They want to reach out. They want to understand more. They're looking for a sign. They're looking for a way of like, well, how do I, how do I get to the root of this? What's, and for some of you, your person was focusing on trivial things that don't actually matter. Your person was choosing to focus on, on things that were limiting your connection rather than freeing your connection. Because underneath that, we have, you are my everything. This is the 10 of pentacles. They imagine a future with you. They imagine success with you. They imagine having a family with you. At the core of them, their heart says, I want you. Literally, the next card is I want you, the eight of, um, sorry, the eight of wands. So they want to move towards you. They want to move towards you fast. They're feeling impulsive. Their heart is calling out to you. Beneath that, we have love me. <laughs> They're calling. I mean, it just keeps going. I could read that deck to filth. It's all about you. But their head is telling them no. Their head is telling them you can't do that. It's going to lead to it's going to, I feel like it could hurt somebody else for some of you. Reaching out to you and being passionate to you could hurt somebody else, but they want to. They really want to advance this connection sexually. They want a sexual union or for some of you, reunion. They want to physically be with you. They want that passion to be shared between you. Um, when they have time to themselves, they're thinking about you and they won't admit it at this stage. They want to tell you something, but they won't admit how often they actually think about you. This person has withdrawn from a lot of people recently. Um, they have a decision to make. They have a fork in the road here. They have to figure out where they're moving because their future is split now. Their future is split three ways and they are choosing to sit in the middle here, which involves them not doing anything with anyone. 
or any situation. They're withdrawing. But one of those options is you and the other option is something else. Not, necessar not necessarily someone else, but something else. For some of you, they may need to move in order to be with you. Um, but for most of you, they just need to figure out what the hell they're doing. And they're letting their head give them the wrong advice right now. They need to move with their heart. They're slowly getting there. But um, because they're not really working with their heart, spirit is getting a bit aggressive and forceful with the, the way that their, um, their unhappiness is unfolding. Because the best way to show somebody what they truly want is by giving them everything they don't want. So group two, spirit, what is going on in group two's connection? What is going on in group two's connection, spirit? How is their person feeling? We have hostilities reversed. I'm going to get your cards out and then I'll explain what I'm feeling. Actually, no, I've got to address that right now. We have walking away reversed. Yeah, your person is sick of being away from you. Your person wants to end this period of, it's like 10 of swords vibes. Um, they want to end this cycle. Whether there's been no communication or there's been really inconsistent communication or they've been physically doing other things instead of spending time with you, they want to end it. They want to take down those barriers, those challenges, obstacles. They want to overcome all of this and they want to step towards you. They are walking away from something though. In order to move towards you, they have to walk away from something. So group two spirit, how are they feeling? Group two, they're in... We, oh, you know what? This came up for group one as well. Archangel Michael is out here doing the most <laughs> for us right now. Bless him. So first chakra, your person has a very important decision to make. It's very different, um, actually, from group one. But essentially, when this card shows up, it kind of... It means that your person has to realign themselves with their core, with their values, with their base. They have to remember who they are and what their purpose on this earth is. And they have to follow their heart. But more than that, they have to follow their values. And really, if you're going to start something new, if you're going to really step out into the unknown, Archangel Michael is the person that you would pray to because he's the guiding angel who leads you through those tricky situations that you feel completely new in. So I feel like with Archangel Michael being reversed, this person is stepping away from the comfortability of something that they really, really know. They have to leave that behind in order to step towards you. And there's fear in that. Archangel Michael is watching over this connection, but it, this person is, is not entirely sure that they want to do that yet. Um, it's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, so once they do take that step, it's, it's going to be something very new. It's going to be something that is going to have an underlying fear there unless they're completely in touch with their heart space because it's really what they want. Their heart is calling out for this outcome. And really, it feels like you, group two. That's what they want. They want happiness with you. You're their everything. You matter. How is group two feeling? I mean, how is group two's person feeling? Sorry. Group two's person. How are they feeling? How's group two's person feeling? Oh, Archangel Michael is such a beautiful energy as well. It really just helps you when you're feeling that anxiety over something really new. You can focus more on the excitement. So group two's person, do they want to share anything else? How are they feeling right now? What's going on with them? What do they want to share? What's going on with group two's person? How are they feeling, please? Spirit, I might have to switch decks unless something comes out soon. Thank you. The garden and the gate. Yeah. So there's security where they're at. It's not entirely hopeless, but they kind of look around and they realize that, yes, they have a lot to be grateful for, but just because it's the safe decision doesn't mean it's the decision they want or the decision that they need. And they have a decision or they have the choice here to step outside of that garden and to explore what's beyond this, this safety net. Um, again, this is a three. This is a big fork in the road. Um, they can either continue being a recluse and withdrawing from every option, or they can very clearly choose two very different situations. Um, 
it feels like that third energy is them choosing nobody, but there is definitely like a, a split there. Um, and look at the way that this person is watching the two butterflies. Like there's a, there's a, there's a timidness there. There's a little bit of a, well, I don't know, is that butterfly here for me? Or <laughs> that butterfly is not even facing me. Why would, and then this other butterfly is over here, like drawn to that person, but this person's drawn to the butterfly that isn't facing them. So they're kind of like, well, I want that butterfly, but does that butterfly want me? How is this person feeling? How is this person feeling? What's going on in this connection? How is this person feeling, spirit? Okay, that's odd. Woman holding a coin. It's only odd because I've gotten this card already. It's so weird how these cards come out and yet they have such very different energy for every group. So group two, woman holding a coin. Your person is enamored by you. You are their everything. They look at you as end game. And every time I say that, I think of Avengers, but literally you are their successful outcome. You're their wish fulfillment. You're what they're working towards. But I feel like they've really, really stuffed up here. They've really complicated their lifestyle to the point where they don't even have room for you now. You're over here holding your coin and you're successful. You're waiting. You've got the room in your life for a strong, stable partner. But your person isn't strong or stable right now. They probably have very strong arms because they've been juggling way too much for way too long. And it's really time for them to make room in their life for you if that is what they want. Um, gosh, how is this person feeling? What's going on in this connection? Group two spirit. Very fantastical way of falling out. So it seems like a lot of us right now are going through this opportunity to heal um, pain from the past to really work through situations or connections that are no longer serving us it isn't about creating pain in order to heal but it's about understanding that those things that aren't actively hurting us are still limiting our potential and I feel like that is the case for this person where they could be thriving in happiness they've chosen to settle into contentment and complacency really it's like they're not allowing themselves this happy ending right now and it's not that they're in immense amounts of pain it's just that they've created so much blockage so many blockages so many boundaries so many limits now there's, there's if they wanted you they wouldn't have room for you they've got so much going on and so it's not that this person has to heal anything. It's more that they have to clear the room in order to have this happiness with you. They have to open these doors up and start getting rid of things that no longer serve them. Can I get a couple more cards, please, for group two? How is their person feeling, spirit? How is their person feeling? We had, I just saw the thinking woman. So your person really wants to know what you think. They want to know it was reversed. So it's not about them thinking, it's about you. They want to know what you're thinking and whether you think of them too. They do miss you, but you're a bit of a mystery to them right now. They don't know your thoughts so well. <laughs> they just feel really unsure of what's going on. So adjacent possibilities came out. So your person is at a position where they're opening doors, they're sussing things out. I know I use that and a lot of people get confused, but sussing things out is the idea that you're sort of inspecting. <laughs> you're having a further look into things. Um, they're, they're, they're opening doors and they're wondering what else is out there. They're not happy. They're feeling very um, discontent and they've realized that they've settled and their life isn't what they wanted. Their life is not working out how they expected it to and how they wanted it to. So they're kind of, they are um, in this two of wands energy where they're standing there with the globe in their hand and they're like, well, what do I do? Which wand, which decision do I make? Um, they're literally just, it's confusing, but their heart is very firmly telling them what to do. I'm seeing the two and four there. Yes, they have a decision, but they are going to inevitably go with their heart. They just need more. They need to know more about you. Look at that. That was the 24 and this is 42. 
They want to know more about how you feel. Bottom deck energy is community reverse. They want to end the distance between you. They want to close this, um, the barriers between you. They want to, what's the word? I'm literally choking on my tongue trying to get the right word out. Oh, they're wanting to eliminate the other options, if that makes sense. They're wanting to cut the other options, the other blockages, the other complications. <laughs> and I really hate it because I know that that's going to be someone. For, for a lot of you, this is a physical person. Your person chose a different person. But for, for others of you, I'm keeping it general. Your person's energy is in be, being invested elsewhere and they need to let go of those things that are no longer serving them. They need to eliminate the other elements to this and they need to focus and that is what they are wanting to do that is the bottom deck energy they're wanting to focus more um, and let go of the other things that aren't serving them anymore so spirit i'm going to clarify some of these cards for us can you please clarify the hostilities card reverse why is the hostilities card in this reading oh that's why <laughs> 26 cards why <laughs> Why is the hostilities card in this reading, Spirit? <clears throat> I just saw fear um, and stagnation. The six of wands reversed. Yeah, your person wants to be successful. This They feel so stagnant. They're like, well, how did I get here? I can't believe I wasted half the year. We're nearly at 2021 now, and I'm even further away from my person than I planned, than I was at the beginning. That's how they feel. We have confession, travel. Your person is wanting to move to calmer waters. I feel like the actions are going to be somewhat drastic and unexpected. But more than anything, again, they want to talk to you. They want to know, how do you feel? What do you want? Do you still feel this connection? And I, I feel that for some of you, it involves traveling towards you. Um, your person just wants to move away from the things that are no longer serving them. They want to resolve offer a resolution here, reconciliation away from hostilities. It feels quite bold. It feels really like, yeah, it's going to be very unexpected for a lot of you. Walking away, Spirit. Why is walking away in this reading? Why is walking away in this reading in reversed, no less? This is the Three of Swords reversed. Your person is stepping away from things that no longer serve them. How many? I'm saying the same thing, but it's because all the cards are confirming that. Your person wants to choose you, group two. They want to step away from this pain. They're acknowledging it. They're not, they're not um, choosing to avoid it, but they're also knowing that they deserve more. Look at the side here, distractions. They're wanting to step away from that. They're wanting to close the separation. They're wanting an emotional release. They kind of just want to let it all out. They want to tell you how they feel and that they're still thinking about you. They've let their pain reach this point where it's just built up and built up until they don't even know how much longer now that they can do it. That's, that's what's driving this. Their heart is in pain. And the only way that it can be healed is by reconnecting with you. They don't know how much longer they can continue doing this. It feels quite dramatic for them. They're just going to be like, they're going to reach a point where they just pick up the phone and call you and go, I have not been able to stop thinking about you. And I know you probably don't want to talk to me because I've done some things that have hurt you in the past, but I need to tell you this. And I really, really want you to listen. And for others of you, this person is just going to pop up randomly and they're going to be very opportunistic. As soon as they see you, they're going to go, I need to tell you something. It's a massive confession and it's a big deal, but it's coming straight from their heart. So first chakra, Archangel Michael. Spirit, why is Archangel Michael in this reading? Reversed, no less. Oh, hello. <laughs> we have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so you know what has caused them to uproot their whole life and to really destroy anything that was no longer serving them? You. You are such a generous, focused, beautiful person with 
so much success. Your person just sees you as the queen they wanted to end up with. You are their queen of pentacles. You're the person that they're working towards. Regardless of gender, you appear as this warm, loving person with such a big heart, but so much motivation to succeed as well. And you inspire them. You inspire a lot of people, but you inspire them to want more. They've seen you reach this point where you haven't given up. You didn't let those challenges overcome you. You continued to push through. Despite the fact that you had to lose this person along the way, you didn't let it stop you. And your person is so inspired by that. They're not wanting to settle. They don't want to settle for less. They want what their heart wants and they want you. You're the reason why they're uprooting their life. For some of you, they're completely relocating to be closer towards you. But for others of you, they've made very grand actions, very bold actions in order to make room for you in their life. Garden and the gate spirit. Why is the garden and the gate card here? You're so mysterious to them, group two. They they really do have a lot of emotion towards you and they want to explore that with you. I feel like for some of you, you weren't ever in a connection with this person. It was just a really prolonged situationship and they want to get to know you better. They want to break down all the barriers. They want to really spend time with you and understanding you and your needs and if there have been synchronicities between the two of your journeys as well because they've been thinking about you nonstop since you last saw each other. We have some losses. So in order to leave, in order to step towards you and to step through that gate towards you, your person has to leave the security of their garden behind. But honestly, for the Ten of Wands to be here, it's something that they've secretly been wanting for so long now because their back has been bent by the amount of responsibilities they've taken on. This garden, as immaculately perfect as it looks, has been causing them a lot of pain. It has been taking way more from them than it's been giving. It's been creating problems. It's been creating stress. It's been giving them so much responsibility and they kind of stepped into it not realizing how much it was going to take from them. And now they want out. They can't do it any longer. It's physically hurting them. They want to leave this garden of, of happiness and they know that something better is out there. They can get more from you. Um, and I don't think that this person is somebody who uses people. It really just feels like the person that or the situation that they're in right now is taking so much from them. Their energies aren't aligned at all. Um, so why is the woman holding a coin here? Oh, that's really cute. Okay, so they daydream about you a lot. They kind of look at you in your boss level and they see you with your coin and they just imagine the, your life together. They imagine what it would be like to be with you sexually, of course, like literally they, they, they think about you a lot. Okay. There's a lot of sexual energy here. I can't lie. It's just radiating through me. Um, but they look at you a lot. I don't know if this person has pictures of you, group two. I don't know if they like, if you post a lot on your social media or if you're a very active person in the community and they, they see you out and about a lot, but they have not been able to keep their eye off you. You're literally someone who they are physically watching. Um, they just, their mind goes crazy over you. With this King of Wands, there is extreme interest. There's so much fiery passion around you. And this is someone who wants to show you how they feel. There's going to be a time where they, yes, they want to talk, but that time is going to be cut short when their physical needs overcome them. They're going to physically show you how they feel about you. They have every intention of physically making love to you, group two. They really want to, and they want to do it in a way that you're going to understand as well. It's not just a sex. It's not just sexual release. It's about expressing how they feel about you. It's about making love to you. And you're someone who they want in their life. So they are going to understand that there's, there will be challenges getting the two of you back together in the same room, let alone um, in the same city. For some of you, you're at a distance. They want that challenge. You're a welcome challenge to them. They're going to pretend <laughs> at first they're going to appear um, a little bit timid or they're going to uh, give you the impression that, oh, I don't know, 
know. Do they, are they interested? Are they? They're kind of like not really giving me that energy. But as soon as they get the green light, as soon as they get the confidence, they're going to swoop in with so much fire and so much passion. They just think about you so much. Why is the door to personal healing and happiness here, spirit? Oh, hello. We've got two cards again. Oh, jealousy, discord, delay. Yep. I'm trying to remember the energy of that card when it first came out. Door to personal healing and happiness. Yeah, leaving situations that no longer serve them. Perhaps they've encountered jealousy with their current situation. Um, perhaps they're really realizing that they've messed up. They've invested all this energy in the wrong direction. And they're out of a situation now where they're trying to uproot. They're trying to unground their wands. They've put these eight wands in the ground with such... Um, hastiness almost it's not even passion it's just hastiness and now they're like crap <laughs> this wasn't the right place <laughs> they're having to pull all of these ones out and take them to the other side we've got the queen of swords bird's eye view quick-witted perceptive and deceitful doubt so again their mind is something that there is holding them back um there is this idea it feels like they're they're trying to remove themselves from the situation the queen of swords is someone who is quite perceptive they kind of they're very observant they're someone who likes to look at things from a bird's eye view being able to be objective at times and knowing when to intervene as well and how to do so in an effective way um, so I really feel like this person is currently strategizing they're trying to remain removed they're trying to remain objective and they're trying to figure out how the hell to get out of the situation goodness similar messages to group one but more action orientated this person is very driven to get out of this situation bottom deck energy was ten of swords ending this cycle of pain ending this cycle of overthinking ending this cycle of self-inflicted martyrism <laughs> very powerful so i want to get advice for you before we end this reading group two spirit what is the advice for group two in this connection what is the advice for group two do you want me to take that no what is the advice for groups holy heck i shuffled it back in and then it just shuffled itself out this is so much spirit why did you give me so many cards oh all right listen i'll show you the bottom deck energy Oh, you're very close to achieving your goal. Now, usually I would, I read reversals in this deck, but I want to show you this in the upright because we are just coming out of a full moon and it was a full moon in Capricorn. This is a timeless reading, but I just want you to know that the practical moves you are taking are successful. This is confirmation that you're on the right track. You continue doing what you're doing, release negativity, release the outcome and simply Live your life um, with gratitude in terms of stepping towards this goal practically. Whatever you are doing practically um, is making a lot of headway. <laughs> I'm like, how, what's the word for that when you're like getting traction and you're moving forward? That's what's what you're doing physically. The things that, whether it's self-care, whether it's having a routine that involves keeping busy so you're not feeling that emptiness or the loneliness, whatever you're practically physically doing is working. Spirit is saying that is working. Now we have a full moon in Scorpio. It's time to release negativity. So continue working through your fears, okay? Continue releasing those things that don't serve you because that's what your person is doing. And some of that is the mentality of being single or the mentality that this you you don't deserve happiness. Releasing that negative thought and allowing yourself to be successful in love, full stop. Whether it's this person or not, you need to release that negative um, perception that you don't deserve happiness. Um, and I don't think that a lot of you have that perception, but just continue working actively towards your goals. We have Taurus here, full moon and Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan. That is really the energy that I'm getting here is to remain grounded and continue in this element of queen of pentacles, um, working on, on balance 
working on self-care, allowing yourself to feel, oh, excuse me, to, to feel that pain when it arises, but not dwelling in that pain, working through that, um, continuing with your healthy eating, if that's what you're doing, continuing with your waking up early and trying to go to bed early because sleep matters. <laughs> um, just those practical things that you've been doing that have been helping you you feel better about yourself, continue doing that. I have to address these two because they so dramatically decided to throw themselves to the corner of the table. Now, this one is emotions are running high in reverse. This is a super moon. So this is confirmation that your person's heart is, is exploding with desire to offer more. Um, so for you, I really feel like the best thing you can do is to stay grounded, okay? Don't let what is happening around you sway you from your achievements from your goals you are so close to achieving your goals so continue on your path um, if you do feel strong emotions and you just have that night where you can't do you can't be this incredibly well put together person and you just need to cry let yourself cry by all means it's not healthy to hold yourself back in that sense but um just Try your best not to dwell on that loss, not to focus on that loss and know that what you're doing practically is working. I can't stress that enough. What you're doing in terms of your self-care is working and the universe sees you and they want to reward you. We have don't let pride get in your way. Um, you're very beautiful to this person. Once again, I just want to say you're very beautiful. This person is so attracted to you. But this full moon in Leo is indicating that... Um, it's not necessarily pride, but it could be opinions or just the simple matter of, well, that person hurt me, so I don't want them back. If you want a successful beginning, new beginning with this person, you have to let go of that and you have to offer them a space to come in because there was a fear down here with the Queen of Swords that you're going to cut their head off if they come towards you. You're going to be so quick to cut them short. So that is your advice, group two. Um, this reading was more sort of focusing on your person and how they're feeling and what messages they have for you. It was a general energy check-in, but I hope that advice helped. Honestly, what you're doing is working, especially this practical self-care plan. Continue gassing yourself up and giving yourself this beautiful energy to continue working on your goals. Stay safe wherever you are, group two, and I'll connect with you in another reading. Bye. Hi, group three, and welcome. If you chose the citrine vial or glass, I don't know if this is a vial, but anyway, if you chose this beautiful one, then this is your reading. So today, group three, we are asking spirit how your person is feeling. It's a sort of a general um, check-in reading. Well, it's never really general. <laughs> um, we're just going to sort of check in with your person's energy and figure out where they're at. So I'm going to use my deck first because I just want to get messages from your person. So group three's person spirit. If they could say anything to group three, what would they say? Group three's person. You make my heart full. This is the Ten of Cups. So, wow, their heart space is opening to you, Group 3, if it's not open already. They're feeling in their feels at the moment. I want to get you drunk. Fifteen. I'll get more, um, what's the word, like, we'll get a bit more cards out and we'll figure out the energy. Will you choose me? Four of Cups. I feel like it's that season. We're halfway through this year. This is a timeless reading, but your person is very reflective right now. They're really thinking about you. Their heart is open to you. We've got four of cups, ten of cups, and the devil card. So they're really thinking about you. Um, I know you from somewhere. This is the six of cups. Your person really, like their heart is very open to you right now they're very set on you we have i'm sorry so there's something that they feel they need to apologize for uh, or about they need to apologize to you about something what would group three's person say to them we have my life started when i met you we have the two of cups here this is the two four six ten we have so many cups cards here your person really would like to tell you <laughs> That's literally what I was feeling, and then it came out. I don't want to lose you. And now I'm going to get a bottom deck energy. I know there's probably more, though. Is there more? There is, but I'm just going to show you the bottom deck energy. I miss you. Do you? This is the Eight of Cups. 
So group three, we have the two of cups, we have the four of cups, the six of cups, the eight of cups, and the ten of cups. Your person's heart space is so very open to you. They feel quite um, attached to you. That's why the 15 is here, because it's actually hitting a point where they can't stop thinking about you. Their message for you is that their heart beats for you, group three, literally. This isn't a necessarily um, an attachment to substances with this devil card. It's an attachment to you. Your person feels very attached to you. And that is what is causing this devil card to come out. They're not wanting to divert their energy towards substances. It really feels like their substance is you. Um, you do make their heart very full. They're very reflective right now. This four energy, I don't want to lose you. That's the four of cups. Uh, not the four of cups, sorry. The four of pentacles. So your person's in a bit of a stubborn energy. While their heart is open physically, they, they feel like they there's some sort of disruption. There's some... With this four, it's it's a real sort of feeling like you need to cling on to your foundations, feeling like you need to hoard something, feeling like you need to firmly grip something, otherwise you're going to lose it. So I don't know if this person's experiencing financial troubles and that is impacting their connection with you, but they really feel like they could lose you unless they change something. But there's this stubbornness here that this the stubbornness of not fully wanting to accept or embrace that change. So they do want you to know that they're sorry. It's very straightforward, really. I might just go straight into your energy cards um, because I want to know what's going on in this connection. But they, they are concerned here with this Four of Cups. I feel like there is something that's happened. Something has happened between you and your past that is now leaving them with the question of, will you choose me? They're concerned. It feels like either they have to come back to you with the Six of Cups. Perhaps they will be coming back. Um, or if they haven't physically left you, they feel somewhat unsure of how to move this connection forward. There's this weird feeling as though, um, and it's not weird in a bad way. I love the word weird. Weird is my word. But <laughs> it feels like they want you... They, they've known you before or they have this strong soul connection with you. With all of these cups cards and we have the two and the six of cups, they feel so attached to you, group three. You're a part of them. They think about you a lot. They really do. But they're kind of in the point where they're wanting to move this forward and they're wanting to bring this forward. They just don't know how. Uh, for some of you, they have something to offer you as well. With the six of cups, they've got some sort of gift to offer you. Um, and they feel like that will be a token of their sorriness as well and them apologizing. Um, but that Two of Cups to me indicates a slow reconciliation, um, an emotional reconciliation. It's coming together, compromising, establishing a friendship again, um, and just really catering to each other's needs as strong individuals. So... Yeah, we're going to go straight into your energy cards because I want to know how they're feeling now and what's going on in the connection from their point of view. This is from your person's point of view, group three. So it may not be entirely accurate from how you see it, but this is how your person perceives the situation. So group three, spirit, how is their person feeling? Group three, please. Wow, that's a very big shift in energy. Group one and two were a little similar, but yours feels very different. So group three, spirit. Um, how is group three's person feeling? What's going on in the connection from their point of view? How are they feeling? Holy heck. Very, very um, new energy here. They really want me to shuffle this well. All right. So the first card for you is the angel of strength. Your person has a renewed sense of courage and purpose. They have this fire in their belly now. They're feeling passionate and they're feeling proactive. They've got a task. Um, they've accepted this task as a challenge and they're moving forward despite what their pride tells them, despite any jealousy, any fear. They have a new, renewed sense of courage and purpose in this connection. They're feeling very strongly um, about you and they're feeling very determined and very passionate. We have the third chakra, Archangel Shamuel or Shamuel, as people call it. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh gosh. Um, this is the. I I think your person. Yeah, they've got so much passion for you, but they're very funny. Um, we have. Again, look at this fire in the belly. So much determination. So this is the solar plexus chakra. This is willpower. This is um, drive. This passion is instilled as well by what I'm feeling as like a sexual drive. Yes, they have a lot of emotions for you, but there is a strong desire to be physically with you. This person is feeling very proactive. Honestly, with these two cards together, they are very determined to progress this connection. They are refusing to settle. Um, can I get another card, please? How is this person feeling? I just saw the throat chakra, but it got shuffled back in. So there is something your person wants to tell you, group three. If you aren't in communication, they want to be in communication. We have anxiety reversed. This person in the past let their own fear, their own anxiety limit them from communicating with you and from progressing this connection. Um, for most of you, group three, it's not that they weren't able to communicate with you. It's just that they weren't able to tell you the truth of how they were feeling. And for a lot of you, group three, they let other factors influence this connection. So some of you, if you watch a lot of tarot readings, I feel like you would have gotten that card in the Romance Angels Oracle deck um, that's about religious factors impacting your relationship they let other factors influence this connection and they let that fear um, hold them back from progressing this connection forward. This person has made immense progress in their healing journey and they've been able to ground themselves in their truth and their power and accepting their anxiety for what it is while also dismissing the false anxieties, the false truths, should I say, because it's not about false anxieties, but the false truths, those those things that were limiting them in the past and creating blockages from them, they've liberated themselves and they're feeling very empowered, very proactive, um, very forward orientated, if that makes sense. Forward orientated, I guess. Uh, there's probably a better way to say it, but that's that's what I'm feeling. The thinking man reversed. So again, this is telling me that this person is not happy with um, letting opportunity pass them by. They're wanting to be um, very proactive. They're wanting to step out of their thinking box. They're wanting to get out of the situation that they're in right now. And they're wanting to move forward here. They're wanting to tell you what they've been thinking about or how they've been feeling. They also, yes, they want to apologize, but they want to explain themselves to you. I feel like while they, you don't owe them any time, they owe you an explanation and they feel like this will help you progress your connection forward together. They really want to tell you how they truly feel and what's been going on. Their heart space is so open and it's really motivating them forward here. It's really pushing them forward in this journey um, towards you. They're finally thinking with their heart or not thinking with their heart, but acting with their heart and they're not letting their fears limit them here. They really want to explain something to you though. And it's not to make excuses, but it's to offer you insight and to explain what they've been doing and why something happened the way it did in the past. So group three, please, spirit. What does group three's person want to say to them? Hostilities. Hostilities. You know what? This feels like because I didn't ask how they feel. I asked what do they want to say to you? Your person really wants to explain something to you. They really want to say that they're sorry. I feel like in the past your person had barriers. They had boundaries, limitations on this relationship. They had like this wall of fear that put this blockage between you and it didn't allow the truth. It didn't allow room for how they were truly feeling. I just feel like this person had so many barriers up. Like, I'm really picturing the nine of wands here. Just a lot of fear. And they didn't mean to do it at first. And then it just, like, it kept happening. And for whatever reason, spirit intervened and was like, if you continue doing this, you're going to push this person away forever. So a lot of you were forced to separate by spirit in order to stop something inevitable yet damaging ha from happening. Like I feel like a lot of negative karma could have happened if that connection had continued the way it did in the past. But 
your person needed this time away to really just examine their actions and to understand why they were acting in that way because I think it surprised them. Their actions really surprised them. It wasn't a true reflection of their character and there's some things that they really need to explain to you. They really want to make the effort now to explain their behavior and also offer you insight into how they actually feel and what their true character is like. So Spirit, how are they feeling about group three? How are they feeling about group three? How does group three's person feel about them? How do they feel? How is group three's person feeling? How is group three's person feeling about them? Group three always has a different energy. It's very different. We have we have Angel of Love, and it's reversed. This is um, the number 49, but, you know, in reversed, I'm seeing 64 or 46. So there's a lot of emotion here that hasn't been expressed, and there is a lot of open love here as well. I feel like for some of you, a lot of time has has gone by, or for others of you, there's this understanding, there's this deep understanding. And while it hasn't been spoken, there's almost like this mutual respect for one another and this mutual understanding of, like, you'll always have feelings for one another, but there's almost like a, the one that got away energy and this person isn't happy with living with that. They don't want that for the rest of their lives. They don't want to feel regret. They don't want to think that, you know, you're the one that got away. There's so much yet to be expressed and the love is there. It just hasn't been tapped yet. It's kind of like a maple tree and this person is coming with the tap and they're going to hammer it into the tree and all the love, all the maple syrup is about to ooze out. But it's not to say that it isn't there just because you can't see it. The syrup is there. It just hasn't been tapped yet. And the card that came with that was the sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron. Your sixth chakra is your uh, third eye, sorry. It's your intuition. It's what you can't see. It's what you feel. Letting your intuition, letting your heart lead your decisions. This person is feeling very intuitive about this connection. They don't really know how you feel. It doesn't matter. They know how they feel and the message to come towards you is so strong. They can't deny it anymore. They really feel like they need to move and there's this strong driving passionate force behind it wanting to act now for fear of missing out but it's not I don't even want to use the f word there's no fear here at all this person is very much in their feelings they're very much letting their heart and their intuition guide them so bottom deck energy is man holding a heart group three your person regardless of gender is literally holding their heart for you you have their heart. They are in their feels for you. They want to move forward towards this um, connection. They want this connection to move forward. And they really want to show you and tell you how they feel. They feel so strongly for you. It's insane. All right, I'm going to clarify these cards. So spirit, angel of strength. Why is angel of strength in this reading, please? Oh, excuse you. Okay. Angel of Strength is here because it was an intervention. It was a divine intervention over the Three of Cups issue. So perhaps your person's energy in the past was invested elsewhere. There could have been a third party involved. It's just this feeling as though there were delays. There was this um, focus, this lack of focus on what the two of you can offer each other and how this connection is almost destined, honestly. And this angel of strength intervened to allow the passion and the drive and the the practical um, progress forward here. Where there was delays, the angel of strength has intervened to offer a way forward to allow a way forward here so I'm feeling like it's the end of that really it's the end of this delay it's the end of this lack of focus it's the end of this energy being siphoned into other avenues and it all starts with this ace of pentacles this new offer a new beginning bliss dreams hope this person wants something long term they're wanting something committed the ace of pentacles is this opportunity to foster something that can last many, many years. It feels like um, a, a lifetime relationship, if that's what you want. Um, but again, the aces aren't promises, they're opportunities. So the opportunity is there. It's up to you to foster it 
<clears throat> with your actions and intentions as well. So third chakra, Archangel Chamuel. Why is he in this reading, Spirit? <laughs> There's a cheekiness to this person, I think. And they have a very playful energy. Very like, yeah, very playful energy. I think they used humor in the past to cover up their true anxiety and how their, their social anxiety perhaps, but they want to end, they've ended that. They're in a very beautiful energy right now. So third chakra, Archangel Chamuel is here because it's time to move. It's time to accept losses for what they are and to step forward into new beginnings. The seven of pentacles reversed tells me that for a long time, this person was kind of just waiting, waiting and waiting and waiting. They had this idea that they'd invested and done everything they possibly could. And they were waiting for the fruit to grow only to realize that they'd been planting the wrong plants all along. They planted the wrong, they were fostering the wrong seeds, should I say. They were putting their energy into the wrong paddock altogether. And now it's this idea, it's a very empowering decision. Your person is taking opportunity into their hands and they're taking destiny into their own hands. They're making their dreams are reality. They're physically seizing the moment and they're stepping towards what they want and they're doing it um, with the help of Archangel Shamuel who guides our solar plexus chakra with this fire in their belly. They have so much passion to succeed. They have so much desire to be successful here. Um, and it's this, it's being driven, it's being motivated by this long period of delay, this long period of not being able to progress, not being able to be successful. So anxiety reversed. Why is anxiety reversed here? They really want to get away from that. They're sick of worrying about whether or not they're going to end up with you. They're sick of sleepless nights without you. They're sick of spending their time wondering what you're doing and, and hoping that you'll fall out from the sky, literally incomplete, unfulfilled love, insecurity, anxiety, insecurity was holding them back in the past. In the past, they also didn't have a very stable home life. With this four of wands in reverse, they, they weren't able to offer you stability. They weren't able to offer you what you deserve. And they've spent the last little while <laughs> since you've last connected with them. They've spent that time understanding that better and figuring out how to be secure within themselves because they can't offer you something they don't have. So they've been really trying to work on their um, insecurities. We have unseen success and hidden love abandonment. This person was afraid that you would walk away from them when you first met. They wanted to move towards you back then, but it was this fear that you would reject them. So they chose to abandon you before you could abandon them. Um, for others of you, this person let their anxiety continue to form blockages for between the two of you to the point where their love remained hidden and they weren't able to express how they truly felt. So they chose to keep their, their love hidden and they chose to sort of cap it off, if that makes sense. They kind of started building it with you and they hit eight cups and went you know what no that's all I can manage and they walked away but it does feel like this person has every intention of coming back now we have the nine of cups as well you're their wish fulfillment they're wanting to step into their emotional happiness their successful um, well-being it their their what's the word their um wish fulfillment is with you um, they're being very mindful of their emotions. They're literally in their feels right now, feeling everything so strongly for you, Group 3. Um, this person in the past, they let distractions take away, but this, the, the strong connection between the two of you was always there. Regardless of what it looked like on the surface, they always felt very strongly towards you. And no matter how complicated their life got, no matter how many people came and went, um, or how many jobs or situations occurred in between, they always felt the strong emotional connection to you. So thinking man reversed. Why is the thinking man in this reading, please, Spirit? Why is the thinking man in this reading? I just saw uncertain outlook. 
okay? So this is about mental war. This is about allowing your thoughts to get the better of you and feeling defeated. It's almost like you, you have a moment where you're fighting so hard for something and there's a moment of introspection where, not even introspection, it's just like a moment of where you're able to remove yourself from the situation and look at it objectively with hopelessness though. The mentality that was leading this person's actions in the past was very pessimistic. It came from a place of feeling as if there was no hope. This person eventually got to the point where their own mental war became exhausting. The things that they were telling themselves and the way that they were thinking about their future was just draining them of all happiness. And they, for a long time, allowed that to continue before they realized that they were their worst enemy. And it was their outlook on life that was limiting the success in this connection, which is why they want to apologize as well. It's like the obstacles and challenges that they had created or that they were fighting weren't even real to begin with. And they want to apologize for that. They spent a lot of time um, just trying to figure that out. Um, that could have been time spent with you. But at the same time, they really needed to go through that to understand what they truly deserve, how they truly feel, and that they really want to be with you. So... It's very powerful. This person is very empowered. They're an incredible person, very strong, big heart, a lot of love. Hostility spirit. Why is hostilities in this reading? Hostilities. Why is hostilities in this reading, spirit? Ooh. <laughs> we just got the king of swords oh goodness and I did feel like this was um very much about what they had to say or what they haven't said so the king of swords kind of tells me it, it speaks to me about someone who is quite controlled with the way that they talk this person has something to tell you they have something to explain to you and they've been thinking about it for so long now that it's almost a rehearsed monologue they've been like practicing it in the shower <laughs> when they're brushing their teeth they're <laughs> thinking about how they're going to say it and how they can say it in the best way um, before they go to bed at night they think about it again they rehearse it again next time I see so and so this is what I'm going to say I'm really sorry for what happened and it's a really detailed explanation and it's quite adorable but <laughs> it's all being guided by this concern that you are going to display hostilities towards them. So they do have something to explain to you and they want to tell it to you in, in such an understanding way that is so matter of fact that you <laughs> you won't even have time to be hostile towards them. Um, it's it, They're trying to be very logical here. They're trying to be very, they're trying to really offer you a detailed explanation of how they acted in the past and why they acted that way. They have a really strong desire to tell you the truth and this is a speech that they've been rehearsing for quite some time so spirit angel of love why is the angel of love in this reading please why is the angel of love in this reading reversed as well lack of ambition and unexpected journey okay so we have the eight of pentacles and the knight of wands so remember the angel of love card came out reversed and the reason why they in the past had chosen to hide their love was because they secretly didn't think that they were going to be successful with this eight of pentacles reversed you might have met each other at a time when this person had been working on um a lot of not even a lot. Oh, excuse me. This is a very specific message. I try to keep it general, but you may have come into each other's lives when you had just started jobs or you, this person may have been studying and for whatever reason, they had to physically invest their energy and time into something that was quite demanding and it was going to take a lot of time to achieve as well. You came and ignited a fire in their belly. They were so physically attracted to you when the two of you met and it was like a, wow, how the hell am I supposed to 
make this work. I, I can't, I don't have the time. I can't do this. And so it was something that they had to put on the back burner. It was something that they had to let go. You're the one who got away essentially. And unfortunately, but also fortunately, because these things just happen like that, the love for you didn't go away. Despite whatever the hell came between you two, it didn't go away. If anything, it grew with intensity until this person reached a point where they had to face the fact that they feel so much emotion for you. It's not just physical. It's not just the sexual attraction of the Knight of Wands. There was a genuine love there, genuine emotions, and they needed to be expressed. So once they were able to close this chapter here with their Eight of Pentacles, once they were able to get a break, because I feel like they're still studying or they're still working on this goal, um, they decided now it's now or never. I've got to do it. The passion's still there. The emotion's stronger than it was the day I met this person. I've got to do it. And so for you, this is going to feel quite unexpected. It's going to feel very passionate. It's going to feel like they just came in out of nowhere and they have so much desire for you. But this has been a long time coming and the passion, the emotion never left this person. At times the passion subsided um, because they were <laughs> needing to focus on this other, this career or this study over here, but their emotions only deepened. And so I really feel like this, all this, this, climax here with the ace of pentacles this new beginning is coming from their strong desire to express how they feel and to release that angel of love from that reverse imprisonment now we have the sixth chakra here archangel metatron why is archangel metatron here spirit why is archangel metatron here please why is archangel metatron here that's your third eye. Why is the third eye in this reading, Spirit? Kind, loving, and responsible, leading with their heart and intuition. They're really following their heart and their intuition here. They haven't been able to stop thinking about you, and they've released the fear of this connection now. They've released their anxieties. They've let those illusions fall to the wayside, and they're accepting this connection for what it is. They feel so strongly about you, but they've spent so long controlling that emotion. The King of Cups has a lot of love to give, but they're not always an easy shell to crack. This is someone who is very much aware of how they feel and very in control of those feelings. This is a lot of affection, uh, a lot of romance, a lot of opportunity to express this love. Um, and I really feel like it's just a, a, a shell waiting to be cracked. It's like a balloon that's overfilling now and it's just going to burst as soon as this person lays eyes on you again. As soon as this person is able to have that opportunity to express themselves to you and they really, really want to. They don't want to wait anymore. They don't want to wait. They're sick of waiting. <laughs> Bottom deck energy is the ace of cups, overflowing love. They want to show you the truth. In the past, you may have felt as though your love was unrequited. You may have felt as though this connection had gone sterile, but the love just kept growing from their end. The emotion is overflowing now. The cup that they're going to give you is drenched in love. <laughs> the emotions are overflowing. There's so much happiness around this person. We have man holding a heart and fertility and joy so i'm going to get some advice for you group three this was focusing on your person but group three spirit what is the advice for group three what do they need to be focusing on or just in general what do they need to hear what's the advice for group three spirit advice for group three please what does group three need to hear what does group three need to hear any second now would be marvelous thank you <laughs> you are good enough oh what a beautiful card group three full moon in virgo so perhaps you've been single for a little while perhaps you've spent some time to yourself and you've been really trying to nurture yourself you've been really just trying to focus on your own needs and self-care if you haven't this is confirmation that you need to be <laughs> now is the time to foster your 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 loving um 
appreciation for the person that you are because you are good enough. You are made perfect in your own image and you deserve everything that is coming towards you because holy heck is it beautiful. Like I'm so glad you joined me today. I'm so happy to be channeling your energy. You have so much coming to you and you are good enough for it. You are good enough. You will receive it. You deserve it. So what else do we need to tell Group 3 Spirit? The answers you need are coming. A full moon in Gemini. The delay is over. Um, I don't believe in time frames, so I'm not going to jinx us. No, <laughs> I'm very superstitious, but I can't give you a specific time frame. But the answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini, okay? So remember that what you see is not necessarily the truth of the situation. It may have appeared in the past that this person was pulling away from you, that they were turning away from you, but they were getting the answers they needed. And now they're very focused, very motivated, and very driven to succeed and be proactive. What else do we need to tell group three? What is the advice for them? Holy, hello. Hold your vision. Fixed moon. Wow. So you're nearly there. All right. You're past halfway. <laughs> I can confirm that with this moon. Um, this is just confirmation. Whatever you have been manifesting, whatever you have been positively affirming within yourself, I hope you've been saying you are good enough because you are. It is coming. It is happening. It is going to be reality soon. So hold your vision. You deserve love. You deserve peace. You deserve happiness. And it is coming for you. So group three, your bottom deck energy is a fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. There is so much passion <laughs> coming towards you. It's very exciting. It's such a beautiful energy to channel. So thank you so much for tuning in and sending you lots of love and light on your journey. That's where I'm going to close it. That's all you need to hear. There's nothing to worry about. It's all good. It's all coming. Hold your vision. Thank you, group three. And I'll connect with you in another reading. Bye.